Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. In this video, we will talk about the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle is also known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle, and it's a biochemical pathway that is used to generate energy through the oxidation of acetyl CoA. It is also used for the synthesis of NADH and for the production of amino acids. Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondria of the eukaryotes and in the cytosol of the prokaryotes. The first step involved is actually a preparatory step which begins with pyruvate. Pyruvate is derived through the glycolysis of glucose which is a 6 carbon compound and it is split into two molecules of pyruvate which is a 3 carbon compound. The next step includes the oxidation of pyruvate into acetyl CoA by the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. And in this reaction, a molecule of carbon dioxide and a molecule of NADH is generated. The acetyl CoA is a 2 carbon compound. In the next step, the acetyl CoA combines with oxaloacetate, which is a 4 carbon compound, to form citrate. And hence, the resulting molecule is a 6 carbon compound. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme citrate synthase. In the next step, the citrate is isomerized into isocitrate by the enzyme aconitase. Next, the isocitrate is oxidized into alpha-ketoglutrate by the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase. And in this reaction, a molecule of NAD is reduced to NADH and a molecule of carbon dioxide is generated. Hence, the alpha-ketoglutrate is a 5-carbon compound since one molecule of carbon is lost into carbon dioxide. Next, the alpha-ketoglutrate is converted into succinyl-CoA by the enzyme alpha-ketoglutrate dehydrogenase. And in this reaction also, a molecule of NAD is reduced to NADH. And a molecule of carbon dioxide is released. Hence, the succinyl CoA is a 4 carbon compound. In the next step, the succinyl CoA is converted into succinate by the enzyme succinyl CoA synthase. In this reaction, a molecule of GTP is generated. Next, succinate is converted into fumarate by the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. In this reaction, a molecule of QH2 is generated, which is used for the production of FADH2. Fumarate is then converted into malate by the enzyme fumarase. And in the last step, the malate is converted into oxaloacetate by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. And in this reaction also, NAD is reduced to NADH. Now let's look at the results of the Krebs cycle. Through each cycle of the Krebs cycle, following products are generated. 3 molecules of NADH, 1 molecule of FADH2, 1 molecule of GTP, and 2 molecules of carbon dioxide. Now since glucose is split into 2 pyruvate compounds, for each molecule of glucose, this cycle runs twice. Hence the products formed are 6 NADH, 2 FADH2, 2 GTP, and 4 carbon dioxide. All the NADH and FADH are next fed to the electron transport chain for the generation of ATP. So this was a short description of the Krebs cycle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe us on YouTube for all the latest videos. And also make sure to follow us on Facebook for the latest updates. You can support Math Simplified by buying on any shopping website like Flipkart, Amazon, eBay, Snapdeal and many other sites through the affiliate links given in the description below. Whatever you buy, a small percentage of that will be donated to Math Simplified which is used for covering the cost of equipment, softwares and maintenance of this channel. You can also donate directly to Math Simplified. All links are given in the description below.